welcome back and thank you for joining me on my next part of the journey um, using Paul Howard's fluting jig. Now having uh, tackled uh, a pot and a number of platters uh, so far, the last one quite successfully, uh, for this video I thought I'd turn to bowls. So for the very first project I'm going to try something very simple that's a very simple uh, fluted bowl uh, with just a number of flutes following the outside of the bowl. Um, this project should give me uh, some idea of how easy it is to get the router to travel along the contours and uh, identify any problems for a more complex project uh, in the near future. Okay, so for this very first task I've got a very bland looking uh, piece of sycamore about six inches by four inches and if I don't break it I think it's going to require some blinging up with some uh, colours. Now while mentally planning this uh, task there's one question that's repeatedly come up into my mind. That is at what stage should you do the fluting? Um, firstly you could uh, shape the base of the bowl as you would normally and then do the fluting uh, before you do the do the hollowing or you could then reverse the piece, uh, hollow the bowl out and then do the fluting. Now there's problems with both ways. So if you um, choose to do the routing work before you hollow out the bowl, I think there's a great risk of getting tear out along the flutes when you're doing the hollowing process. Um, and choosing the second method, actually um, doing the fluting after you've done the hollowing, leaves a problem of how to mount the um, hollowed bowl on the lathe um, in such a way that you can get access to the very base of, of the bowl. Uh, that's going to be quite challenging. So the solution that I'm going to try today is a kind of compromise between both uh, methods. So firstly I'm going to um, complete the outside of the bowl uh, and the base of the bowl as you might normally do. Reverse it uh, in the chuck. Partially hollow out the bowl leaving a spigot in the center. Um, and uh, once that partial hollowing is done you can use the spigot to reverse it again and mount it in the O'Donnell jaws so you've got some firm attachment to the lathe. You can then complete the fluting um, with the fluting on the opposite side of the chuck leaving you plenty of room and when the fluting is complete you can reverse it again and then remove the um, spigot. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's about as much as I'm going to do to the colouring and the finish until I've completed the routing. This acrylic paintwork will be very easy to repair should I damage it with the router or the guide bush on the router. Okay then to set up the router I'll start off by uh, mounting the 3.2mm core box cutter uh, into the router and I'm going to go for a depth of 3mm. Now here just aligning the uh, router bit to the uh, centre line of the lathe uh, so I get a consistent cut. Okay here I'm just uh, testing the uh, free movement of the uh, router jig on the table and uh, just seeing how it feels to move along the contour of the bowl. Now to make sure that the fluting uh, all stops at the same distance from the centre of the base of the bowl I'm limiting the movement of the fluting jig by screwing this batten to the table. Okay then, so before I fire up the router it's necessary to conduct a number of safety checks mainly to make sure everything is tidy and I say this having fallen foul of uh, most mistakes to date uh, not having the chuck tight uh, not having the index plate uh, tight um, not having the guide bush tight and not having the router um, screwed home into the routing jig Okay, the routing work was very successful, no issues there at all. Uh, as I mentioned on the caption there, uh, the white deposits uh, around the fluting is uh, about 99% dust and uh, not tear out. Um, there's little repair work to be done to the paint. There is uh, a limited amount of abrasive work needed to tidy up the fluting. You know, I really do hate sanding. I can't abide it. But looking at uh, the last video of uh, Stuart Farini, uh, I hit upon an idea how to make the sanding process much shorter. Hey, can you give me a hand a minute? Yeah, what do you want from me now? I need a hand to finish this off. You want me to help you with sanding? Yes. Well, you're the one with the posh smock. You do it yourself. You lazy, grumpy old git. <laughs>
Now there's a limited amount of repair work to be done to the paint which was mainly caused by friction from the router guide. As you can see the bowl has now got a significant bit of a wobble on it that uh, is just a consequence of reversing it in the chuck too many times um, I'm not going to tr try and true up the inside of the bowl because it will obviously uh, be of an inconsistent thickness if I do that so what I'm actually doing here is making the bottom of the bowl square and hiding the difference that way So here we have it then, the finished product, a small fluted bowl finished on the outside with acrylic metallic paints and on the inside with uh, Yorkshire grit and Hampshire sheen. Just to reiterate that this uh, was a practice piece really uh, for me to learn how the um, fluting jig moves around freehand around the curves of the outside of the bowl in preparation for me uh, doing a lattice work bowl for my next project. Thanks for watching.